Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the typical anchors that you're going to see on AJW type grab bars. They have four primary anchor types, and we're going to go over all four of them quickly here, and they are going to be used to get all of their grab bars installed onto a variety of different uh, wall conditions. Partition, uh, hollow wall, masonry, wood reinforced. Let's go over that now. There are four kits that we're going to go over here. The first one is called the MK20 and the MK20, pardon me, MK-20. You're going to have two number 14 by two and a half inch Phillips pan head stainless sheet metal screws. Obviously a wood reinforced application is where these are going to work perfectly. Okay, Large pan head stainless wood screws. Every kit is going to come with two anchors, except the MK60, which we'll go over in a moment. That's your MK-20. Now, the MK-30, that's going to be your hollow wall application, where you are basically going to have two toggle bolts. You're going to have two quarter 20 by three and a half inch Again, stainless steel, at least the bolts are stainless steel, the toggles, the toggle wings are not. Quarter 20, three and a half inch long, flat head, these are flat head, um, they should really be pan head, so let's, let's assume that they're going to be either flat or pan head, but you'll be able to make them work either way. Okay toggle bolts, obviously for a drywall sort of application where you would install these. Um, certainly installing a grab bar onto a drywall applica application that's not been properly reinforced would not be the idea. Uh, when this is threaded in and that toggle wing is folded over, I'm going to give you an idea of the usable length that you'll have available to you to get that inserted in from the underside of the head to the toggle wing looks like it's about two inch okay so whatever you're putting this into you'll need you'll have two inch uh, that you'll be able to get that into before it uh, 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 to make the toggle wing snap out okay quarter 20 stainless bolts uh, moving on to the mk 40s my personal favorite couple of quarter 20 by 2 inch flat head stainless machine screws with what they call metal expansion shields. These are lead anchors. And if you've ever used a lead anchor in a masonry sort of application, you know how incredibly durable they are at uh, holding into and onto everything that they go into. Okay, lead expansion anchors, what these are. Two of them. The last is the MK60 or MK-60, a three inch diameter stainless plate with a quarter 20 by inch and three eighths long threaded rod with a hex nut and washer. The washer is not shown, but you'd have a washer with this as well. So they're going to weld a stud back onto this piece of stainless. This is going to be intended for uh, installing onto a partition sort of application. an idea of this dimension. They say that it's three inch. Let's double check that. Indeed, three inch. An eighth of an inch for sure. That's all stainless steel. Those are the four primary anchor types that you're going to have with AJW. Now, how many do you order? Of the MK20, MK30, MK40, you'll get two bolts. When you order one, you're going to get two bolts. With the MK60, you'll get one. You have to determine how many you need per bar. The situation is the UG2 uh, bar, UG3 and UG2 bars are going to take three screws or anchors per flange. The UG30, UG20 are two anchors per flange. The UG130 and UG120 are three per flange. So if you've got a bar that requires two fasteners per flange, you'll order two kits for each bar. 
If you have a bar that takes three anchors per flange, you'll order three kits per bar. It's that simple, that's just how it works. Makes sense because it's always divisible and you'll always have the proper quantity without having uh, more or less than you need. But that's the uh, standard by which you go ahead and order that material. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's uh, product uh, catalog, which is very handy, to their website and to all the AJ products that we sell. And I'm partial to AJW, and it's because they have very good quality material at a very reasonable price at very predictable and reliable shipping lead times. Everything's generally about a week, so plan accordingly, plan accordingly please. But it's always about a week. Usually no surprises with AJW, and in the construction industry, surprises are the last thing you need. AJW is a name that I've come to rely on because of that service uh, that you get in terms of shipping, but on top of that, it's going to stand excellent customer service along with excellent technical support. If you have any questions on the AJW uh, series of anchors for their grab bars or any AJW product for that matter, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.